have seen. It is good and fitting for one to eat and drink and to enjoy the good of all his labor, in which he toils under the sun all the days of his life, which God gives him. For it is his heritage. As for every man to whom God has given riches and wealth, and given him power to eat of it, to receive his heritage and rejoice in his labor, this is the gift of God. For he will not dwell unduly of the days of his life, because God keeps him busy with the joy of his heart. And it is a gift, it's one of the gifts of the gifts and callings that Greg had. Not, not the joy of the gift of what he got, but the gift of doing it. It was it was I've never met anybody, with maybe one exception that loved to work and love and that that was his joyous place that was a gift from god and that that was one of the ways that he really shared who he was
gives me a hug. And he says in my ear, today it's my turn. I'm probably going to get choked up here, so bear with me. So he proceeds to pray for each one of my kids, prays for my wife, and then prays a blessing over me. I, we pretty much cried big tears on that. And I take comfort in that in knowing that Greg knew God, Greg knows God, and God knows Greg. And for what's out, what that gives me a lot of peace. And the love that he has for his family is just absolutely, absolutely amazing. And obviously, everybody's experienced that. I'll never forget Greg, man. Uh, when my dad passed away, he showed up at my mom and dad's house and he slept right there on the, in the flower box all night. He didn't want to leave. And when my dad quit the woods, Greg quit the woods and went back to George Reed. And when the pensions took a shit, they headed back to the woods, what they did what they like to do. So, uh, you can't blame the man one bit. He, he enjoyed what he did, and he did it, boy. I tell you what, he did it. He was great at what he did, and uh, he's, got, he's got a lot of respect, I can tell you that. This is a showing right here. You look around here and see the love. He's touched every single one of our lives in many different ways. And that's the way Greg was. He was a doer. He did for people. You know, we talked a little bit earlier about faith and God. And, and Greg showed his faith and his God through actions. If you ever want an example of how to do God's will, ever think of Greg Burns. Think of what he did for you. Because I know for me, he showed me with actions, always. And his love for you and all of you. few years back, my uh, son was in an accident and uh, we lost him and, you know, we called the family and uh, they were, you know, they were there and the next person that called me and, and I talked to was Greg and uh, he was, he was basically the first one there and that was Greg. I mean, he, he he dropped his saw, he got in his truck, and he drove to see me. And, uh, that, that's Greg. That was how Greg was. He, he wasn't selfish at all. He didn't. Um, he, would, he would do anything for anybody, and he did. And 
hopefully everybody here knows that, and I think everybody does. My name is John, but uh, to Bernsey, it was Johnny Negro, so we'll get that out of the way right now. And there's a few other nicknames I've had over the years with Bernsey and when we worked up at Dodge together, and I know Brian's got a ton of stories and ran too. Um, he was so damn funny with his one-liners and everything he had. He just, the guy had a heart of gold and silver, I know, because he always talked to me about buying silver bars, so. Um, yeah, the guy was I just, I can't get too much into it because I don't think I can hold together. But he was a damn funny guy and he meant the world to a lot of people. And uh, yeah, he had an art of gold and he'd do anything for you. That's all I got. Thanks. things I'd like to say about him. And that's why I finally got it here. I, I could not live with myself for the rest of my life thinking that I couldn't stand up here talking about him. When he got up and gave a speech for uh, Kyle and Dad, excuse me, this is the best speech I've ever heard. <clears throat> Gray gave up. And I remember standing there that day, two things I said, that's my friend saying that speech. And, and the other thing was, is it was incredible. We're just a bunch of hillbillies that don't know nothing. But that day, that man said some stuff that I've never heard. It came from hard, and it was, that's great. And the other thing was, is they had this conservative party this year for some representative or whatever it was, you know. And uh, they had the military stand up in, in this room. 300 people. And Greg was standing there. And I was sitting away from him. And I looked over at him. He winked at him and he was like this. <laughs> it's a really hard thing for me to deal with right now. But I hope everybody remembers him after today. I don't want anyone to be mad at him because he was our friend. I want everyone to remember him for, and you will, I know you'll remember him for every wonderful, funny, goofy, crazy thing he did. Um, I want to share too that um, you know, Greg had a simple faith in God. He wasn't into organized religion, but he shared his faith with me. He shared his faith by the way he treated people. He was always there to help people. He was extremely generous. He was very loyal. And, um, you know, we didn't have our regular church or whatever, but we, we watched you know John Maxwell on the weekends and Joyce Meyer, and we, we had these really great deep talks about God and just wanting to live a good life, you know? And I tell you that because it's important to me, because I'm a believer and he was a believer. I also want you to take the time to walk around the property because Greg worked so hard to make it look beautiful here. I mean, with the bark beetles and everything that happened, it was it was a rough go here. And he, it's green and it's beautiful. All the mowing, I mean, how do you mow all of this? He did that. 
walked down to the garden. That was the last thing that he did before he left. He, he, that was, that was our, our love affair was in the garden. We loved to be in the garden together and he loved to be a gardener. He loved his chickens. You guys need to go check out his chicken coop. He just, I mean, it was just done. It was just finished like a week ago. So walk around and you'll see Greg all over this place. He took, he was such a good steward of this piece of property and of me and of his kids. One last thing I just want to read to you real quick. My world is filled with beautiful things. They are meant to be pointers to me, reminders of my abiding presence. The earth still declares my glory to those who have eyes that see and ears that hear. And that, Greg, as many of you see God in the creation around us, and he loved the woods, he loved, he loved his life. He loved you guys.